Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Network Solutions. My name is Neha. I will explain hub, router and switch in this video. So we'll start with hub first. Hub is used to connect two or more than two computers together. Let's say we have four computers and we can connect them with the help of cables as shown in diagram one. But we require two LAN cards to connect the centralized device that is B and C. As you can see in the diagram, machine B and C, they both have two LAN cards. Now for an example, if machine A wants to communicate with machine D, it will communicate through machine B and C. That means it has a dependency. And in that case, by any chance, if machine C or B goes down, then communication won't happen between machine A and D. Therefore, we will not connect these machines directly together. So now how we will connect these machines together? We can connect them through hub as shown in diagram number two. We have connected machine A, B, C and D to the hub and they will communicate with each other through hub. And in this case, if any of the machine will go down till other machines will be able to communicate with each other through hub. Now let's say if machine A wants to send a message to machine C, hub will simply broadcast the message to each and every machine present in the network without performing any filtration of data. Now we'll talk about switch. A switch is a device in a computer network that connects other devices together. As shown in this diagram, all of the machines will be able to communicate with each other through switch. Unlike hub, switch does unicasting, which means it will send the data to its destination. Whereas hub used to broadcast the data to each and every machine present in the network and switch will be sending the data to its destination only. Now we'll talk about router. Router is used to connect two different networks together. For example, as you can see in the diagram, we have four computers connected with a switch in Pune location. And in same way, we have one more network where few machines are connected to a switch in Bangalore location. Now we want to connect these two different networks so that they can communicate and share data. For that we will connect both the switches to the different routers. And further these two routers will be connected to their local internet service providers. And these two ISPs will be interconnected. Now we will do some configurations at both the routers so that LAN network A and LAN network B can communicate. Router A will already be having information of network A because it is directly connected to network A. Similarly, router B will have information of network B because it's directly connected to network B. Now we will provide the information of network B to router A. And what information we'll be giving to router A is that how you can communicate with network B. Similarly, we will provide information of network A to router B so that both the LAN networks can communicate with each other. I will explain about routers and switch in upcoming videos. So if you have any query related to this video, kindly post your query in the comment section below. Also provide me your feedback in the comment section below. I hope you like this video. If you do, then please like this video and share this with your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of next videos. Thank you for watching.